There are certain eyeshadow colors that make your eyes pop. Have you ever experienced that before? That one time you put your eye makeup on or you got your makeup done professionally and everyone around you was like, whoa, I didn't know your eyes were so bright or wow, you have such beautiful eyes. No one seemed to notice them before, but they noticed them then. Why? Why is that? And then in contrast to that, you've also likely put on eye makeup and realized that it instantly made you look really tired or drab. It just didn't work. Why did it work that one time, but not the other time? Why did one make your eyes look gorgeous and bright and everyone was noticing them, but the other time you just looked tired? Why? Why did that happen? Today, we're going to be talking all about different eye colors and the eyeshadows that make them pop. Hundreds, hundreds of you guys requested this video in my five tips that will make you look younger after 60 video. And I've told you before that I always read comments and make content that is catered towards helping you. So we're going to do that right now. Let's just start by going through color theory a little bit. If you guys really like this, I can do more and more in depth videos on it, but I am just going to touch on it today because it's going to help me explain everything else in this video. If you want to skip this part, you can get right into the eye colors found at this timestamp. But if you want to nerd out with me, then keep on watching. So complementary colors are colors that are directly across from one another on the color wheel. So for example, red and green, orange and blue, purple and yellow. These color combinations are bold, but they're especially pleasing to the eye. If you actually stare at a blue sheet of paper for a while, and then you immediately stare at a white wall, you're actually gonna notice that you will see a faint orange on the wall as an after image. I'm not gonna go into the science of why this happens unless you want me to in another video, but what that means is that complementary colors simultaneously stimulate different parts of the eyes, making them dynamic color combinations since they biologically play off of one another's intensity. It is a great natural example of opposites attracting. Another thing I like to think about a lot are analogous colors, and those are the ones sitting next to one another on the color wheel. Sometimes I like to go in the complementary color route, depending on the effect that I'm creating, but sometimes I really like staying with the analogous colors, and you're going to see examples of that in a minute. And finally, we also want to think about color temperatures, whether the color is cool or warm. When I'm choosing colors for someone, I am looking at the warm warmth or coolness of their skin, as well as the warmth or coolness of their eyes and the warmth or coolness of the palette that I am working with. So let's start talking about individual colors now, and this is all going to make a lot of sense. Let's begin with brown eyes. One foolproof color family that works with every shade of brown from warm to cool is a brown palette. So think in terms of analogous colors. In the brown world, this looks very harmonious and it actually doesn't apply to all of the eye colors. So for example, putting blue eyeshadow on blue eyes, in my opinion, and makeup is art, so you can absolutely disagree with me, Putting blue on blue eyes isn't nearly as flattering as putting brown on brown eyes. This family of color looks beautiful every single time and it can be built out and smoked or kept very subtle and natural. Building off of that, something else that works beautifully, especially if you have honey or gold speckles in the eyes, is bringing in pops of gold right into the lid. You're grabbing those colors and you're bringing them out. You can do this by contouring out the crease with a medium matte brown and then popping a gold color with a sheen right into the center to spot highlight it. You can go more yellow with the tone or you can go more rose gold with it where it has like a bit of a pink golden hue to it. Those golden caramels and honey shades can be stunning on brown eyes, especially if you have a warmer skin tone because honey and gold is warm as well. So it stays within that harmonious color family. Now, if you want to add color, there are two colors that are known to look great with brown and they are green and blue. And that could very well be because brown has that red-orange base and red and orange is 
complementary, right, to green and blue. So when it comes to blue, a smoky blue looks gorgeous, especially on lighter brown eyes. Kim Kardashian does this look often, and I think it really is stunning. It works especially well on her because she has cool toned dark hair, and blue is also in that cool toned family, so it's very complementary to her coloring, and it makes the lighter tones in her brown eyes really, really stand out. Another color that looks gorgeous is green, and I think it's because it's also in like that earth palette family, right? Brown, green, it's all a part of that earth family and it's very harmonious. If you want to add a pop of color but you're not adventurous, instead of doing it in a smoky way, you can very strategically place the colors where you want them to go. A great way to do this is by doing a neutral eye and then adding a pop of color right on the bottom like I did today. You can also use the color as just a liner on top or on the bottom or both, whatever you want. This will give you that pop of color without that kind of scary, smoky commitment. You know, a colorful, smoky eye is a big commitment. So if you want to try color, definitely try it but you don't have to go all the way. You can just do it as like a spot highlight effect, which is a great way to do it. Now let's talk about blue eyes. It is very well known that orangey coppery earth tones are extremely flattering on blue eyes. And that is because blue is opposite to orange on the color wheel. So they are complementary. The one color really does make the other color pop. And you will see that in Hollywood celebrities, the blue eyed Hollywood celebrities wear orangey coppery eyeshadows all the time. I see it on the red carpet all the time. It's very strategically done from their makeup artist to make their eyes really pop at those events. Even though blue is a cool toned color, warm tones, like really warm browns, just seem to look amazing when put directly beside it. If the person's skin and hair isn't too cool toned, I even really love using gold or rose gold on girls with blue eyes. Something else that I think looks amazing, especially if the person has icy blonde hair and cool skin, is gray and silver. The tonal similarity and these hues really make the eyes pop. You can even add some purple in there, which is also cool toned to make it look even more dramatic. Typically, I find that blue eyed women with brunette or honey blonde hair look great in the warm eyeshadow palettes with the coppers and the browns and the blue eyed women with the icy blonde hair or even like a silver gray hair look great with the cooler toned families of eyeshadows. No matter what color though, no matter what color is chosen, whether it's warm or cool, I must say I love, love, love doing a smoky eye on a blue eyed girl. The contrast of the darkness in the shadow with the lightness of the eyes is so beautiful and makes them pop out so much. Personally, I just feel, I think I'm gonna get killed in the comments for saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I just feel like a smoky eye on a blue eyed girl looks more impressive than a smoky eye on a brown eyed girl. And that's why whenever I do a really smoky eye on myself, I typically put in blue contacts because that contrast between the, the blue and that smoke is very dynamic. Artistically, it's a very dynamic contrast. I think it's beautiful. Moving on to hazel and green eyes. Hazel and green are very similar and eyeshadow colors typically work the same on them. So I'm going to group them together for this one. Because green and hazel eyes are also part of that earthy color family, staying harmonious there and working with warm tones looks gorgeous. If you look at the color wheel across from green, we find reds and purples. So let's start with some red based colors. Really warm tones like coppers, red based browns, warm rich browns, and even gold look so gorgeous against green or hazel. It's a little bit like brown in that respect, in that those neutral earth tones just create a lot of aesthetic balance with the green or the hazel. If you find that you have a lot of gold flecks in your eyes, bringing that gold into the shadow will draw that quality out in them and make the gold look even more noticeable. If there's something in your eye color that you love, like a golden speckle or whatever, try finding an eyeshadow with that tone or that color and pop it on the lid because 
that will really draw your eye into that color in the eyes and make it come forward. One color that is also known to be super flattering on a green eye is purple. This again is because of complementary color theory. The contrast between the purple and the green really does make the green pop a lot. When it comes to purple, you can do so much with it. You can go for something lavender and keep it really light and fresh. This is an amazing look for the springtime and it doesn't feel or look too heavy, but you could also go jewel toned with it for a night out, which is my personal favorite look. If I had green eyes, I think I would do my makeup like this all the time. Um, you can also use just like a color pop like we discussed with the brown eyes if you're not as adventurous with your makeup. Either way though, if you haven't tried playing with this, give it a try because you may be surprised by how much you love a purple on your green or on your hazel eyes. Let me know in the comment section what color of eyes you have and if you are inspired to try something new today. This video is over. <laughs>